Today we're talking about how to start a lawn and landscape business with no money, or at least not much. All of these points are awesome. Make sure to stick around to the end. Hey everyone, I'm Jacob Godar, and my channel helps contractors deliver and clients experience a luxurious everyday life through property transformation. Today we're talking about how to start a lawn and landscape business with no money. I know that there are so many people that are needing a job. There are people that are looking to get into this industry going into 2021 and they might not know what to do. They don't have much money. They don't have many resources. If that's the case, this is the video for you. If that is the case and if this is the video for you, make sure to hit that like button and hit subscribe. So let's get right into this. First off, I want to say the reason I like this video topic so much is I am always thinking, what if I lost everything? What if I had no resources? I didn't know anything. I didn't have any of the, well, I guess I would know something, but I didn't have any of the people or the resources around me or any of the money or the things that we've earned now. And I had to start from zero. And maybe I had like a, a truck and a thousand bucks or a truck and a and, uh, hundred bucks, you know, not anything starting off, maybe even a car. Uh, just to get rolling, what, what would that look like and what would I do? So I kind of had this thought and I wanted to go through these points because I knew if you were starting in business and you had a shoestring budget, these points would get you going faster. First and foremost, point number one, I take account of what I do have because a lot of times, even when you think you have nothing, you have some stuff. Hey, over here, I got a shovel. Uh, I have a car. I have a wheelbarrow. You know, I take account of the few things I do have and kind of see what I can paste together, even if it's real low quality stuff, just to get me rolling. I would take account of all of those things and I would be thinking about all the services I could do with those things to start generating money. So that'd be step number one. So step number two, after you've done that, got your list together, I would take account of all those jobs that could be done. And ideally one-time jobs, because I know we said we're starting a lawn care and landscaping business, but to go out and buy a big mower, to go out and get a push mower, to, to go out and get some of this equipment to do reoccurring services, it can cost a lot of money. So I would be focusing on one-time services. What could, I, what could I turn and be finished with with next to nothing? So if I had a leaf rake, I could go do cleanups. If I had a shovel, I could go do snow plowing. If I had a shovel and a wheelbarrow and a car, I could do some form of tear out. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it in my car. I could get the world's most cost effective trailer and, and put it on my car. So I would look at what I can do with what I have, ideally one-time services that you could sell the heck out of and get rolling and I would create a flyer behind those services. I'm talking something on a something on a piece of paper that's printed out and I would start dispersing those. We're talking if I had nothing and I was getting started exactly what I would do. I would get those. I would find the most cost cost effective version of those. Whether that means you make a little design on your cell phone and you take it to some print shop and you print them, uh, whatever that is that's cost effective. And then I would put those on doors. I would look for a good area where I think I could sell work. I would dress as clean as I could afford to dress, preferably something with a, with a collar and nice jeans. I would start putting them out so I look good in the neighborhood. Um, even if you don't have a business card, you can just give someone that flyer, have your number on it, and they can still call you. It can act as a, as a one fits all. Um, I would also, while I'm doing this, knock on doors. And what I'm trying to generate is these one-time jobs so I can get the ball rolling. And the reason I say these one-time jobs is because you could get good at something. You could sell the, the heck out of fall cleanups. You could sell the heck out of snow shoveling. Like I'd be knocking on doors just to get that revenue up so you can take that revenue and create more revenue. But you've got to get it. And getting a bunch of mo clients doesn't happen really quick. We have actually grown our business substantially using the fuel from landscaping to grow the rest of it. And that's what I'm suggesting that I would do even at a small version. It's what we did in Florida. I got a bunch of mowing clients, but we also did more landscaping than anything. And the cash flow from that fueled the business. And it's easier for me to do that starting off with nothing. And all you gotta do is take knowledge off of YouTube and learn from other people, learn hourly rates, learn what you should be charging and get out there and do that. So step number three, 
now that I've got some income in. Before I go and decide to, I might really want to mow grass, but if I don't have the money to buy grass, if I have thousand dollars and I have enough tools to keep going and doing work, I would not buy a thousand dollar or a three hundred dollar push mower so I could start push mowing. I would take the a thousand dollars and use it on the best form of marketing I could, I could get. I would probably create my own low dollar website to get me some time until I could pay for a good one that ranks. Uh, but I would spend it on more marketing to fuel the engine. I would get in more of what you're already doing. I would advertise for more of what you're already doing that you've got the equipment for. And then if you sell some big jobs or sell some bigger cleanup jobs, you can, you can just buy the things you need as you need them. But you really, really need to market to take this thing and you're gonna want it. It's like taking a plane off. A plane, you gotta, you gotta put it up in the air. And if you're starting with nothing, you've gotta get that revenue coming in so you can take off. You need something to catch those wings and get you sailing. Because the more and more revenue you drive, you can, you can get equipment as you can go, but you gotta run it lean and you gotta be thinking about marketing to get you more. And it'll be scary because you'll be like, wow, I don't have much. But that marketing, those opportunities coming in, some of those you could take down payments on, deposits on. There are so many things you can do. In business, it's usually not the lack of resources, it's your lack of resourcefulness. It's a painful thing. I, it's happened to me a million times, but it's true. There's always a way. There is always a way to make it happen. So my fourth point is now that we're, we're ramping up income, I haven't bought a lot of stuff, I'm going to take every step as income raises to make the business more and more legitimate. You know, depending on what your money situation is off the very beginning, some kind of insurance is extremely, general liability is extremely cost effective. So, I mean, I, that would be getting that ASAP. And then I would just keep going up the legitimate ladder from there, you know, getting getting your sole proprietorship set up, make sure you're paying taxes, you know, get all that stuff going. But you, I mean, taking off, it doesn't all have to be perfect when you take off. Just as you step up your income, keep stepping those things up as it goes. Step number five, after you've done that part that wasn't so fun, you know, stepping up all the things that, the things that are shoring up your liabilities, that's not that fun. But step number five is gonna be fun because this is where we're getting into another cool service. As the landscaping and these one-time services are fueling the revenue for your business and you're starting to have some money, now I would start, uh, and it's even better if you're, you're handy with fixing stuff, but I would, I would start finding some cost-effective maintenance equipment, push mower, um, string trimmer, hand blower, just to get rolling. So you could start picking up these reoccurring accounts too, because landscaping is awesome. I, and I shouldn't say I, me and my team have used landscaping to fuel the growth of our business. And that's what I'm suggesting even from a small start. I wish I would have known that better when I started that I could use that to fuel the growth. So I would use that and I would fuel. And once you see all that fuel coming in and, and you've got work and you've got some money, I would start fueling, ramping up the maintenance side of your business as my step number five on how to operate this thing on a shoestring budget. Step number six. So now that you've made it through all those steps, you've got the plane running, you've got it up in the air, you're starting to get some maintenance equipment, some real low budget stuff. You, you could start mowing for next to nothing. You can have a push mower, a hand blower, and a string trimmer. I started a business with those three pieces and the string trimmer was a string trimmer that fell out of a truck into a ditch like 15 years before I even started the business that was sitting around at my dad's house or something like this. The push mower was something that was a, was a hand-me-down freebie that my dad got 10 years prior to this. It was all it was all stuff that was like worth next to nothing. You know, it was all old and it's what I started the business with. You don't have to have the best stuff to start a business. So, but as you got that rolling, you got the maintenance rolling, you got some uh, one-time services rolling, you got, you got constant work, you're feeling good. Hey, I'm making money out. What I'm doing is working out. Now it's time to evaluate what you've done that's been working and what you've done that isn't working and get rid of the stuff that isn't working and do more of the stuff that's working. Maybe you found out doing gutter cleanings as a one-time service has been awesome to you. So it has leaf cleanups, but every time you try to pressure wash a house or do this XYZ service, it kills you and you don't make any money on it. Decide early that you're gonna be done with that service and then the stuff that, like I said, is kicking butt, the mowing, 
uh, the little landscaping jobs. Maybe it's the little mulch installs that since you only have a car, you can only do mulch installs where I have 10 bags of mulch and you can fit that right into your car and do them. Hey, that style mulch job, I kill it on those. So do more of those in market for more of those. So after all that, that's what I would do. That's how I would start a business with no money. I have thought about it a million times over. I would also make sure my hourly rate is correct. So check the video in the end screen for creating an hourly rate. And I look forward to seeing you all soon. Make sure to leave some comments. See ya.